Well, it's time now for our Ask the Lawyer segment. And tonight we're talking about unemployment right here in Connecticut. Just as some of our new website was launched, it's supposed to make things easier for people, but it can still be overwhelming. Here to explain your rights if you lose your job is attorney Tara Knight. Thanks for joining us, Tara. Always Thanks good to see you. Again. So let's talk about who qualifies first off for unemployment. Okay, so unemployment is basically temporary income to people who've lost their job through no fault of their own. And in order to qualify, you have to be either unemployed or underemployed. You have to have worked in Connecticut for at least a year and a half, and you have to be willing and able to work full time. So let's talk about also if you're fired from your right. job because the circumstances of how you're fired make a big difference, right? And whether or not you qualify for unemployment. Absolutely. Typically if you're fired, you're not eligible for unemployment benefits. However, if you have a dispute about the reasons for your firing, for instance, um, if you feel that your employer was unfair, you can have a hearing. And at the hearing, the employer would have to show up and have to establish good cause for why, why you were fired. For example, if you committed a felony on the job, if you were stealing, if you failed an alcohol or a drug screening. If the employer is not able to establish good cause, you may be eligible for unemployment benefits. So what if you walk away and you quit your job? If you're one of those people that you know that old song, take this job and do something with it, <laughs> if you're like, I'm right, out of here. Okay. If you Not walk cool. away from your job, yes. what happens in that case? Well, you can't do that. You can't just abandon your job and then expect you know, to be compensated by the state. However, there are some circumstances in which you can do that. For example, if there are extenuating circumstances, for example, you have a sick parent or a sick child or a sick spouse, you might be able to qualify for benefits for a period of time. Or if... Um, if you feel that you, you were compelled to leave your job, if you were being harassed by your boss, you weren't getting paid, those are circumstances that compelled you to quit making you eligible for the benefit. Well, let's talk about you go to work, you're a good employee, mm -hmm. you show up that day and you get a pink slip, your job just ends. Yes. So many people have bills to pay, families to take care of, care of whether it's children or parents. Yes. How quickly, once you sign up for unemployment, do you get that money and how much are you paid? Okay, what you get is based on a formula that's computed based on your prior wages, even if it's from another job, and uh, for a certain a period of time. So it's a formula, so it differs for each person. And you need to be diligent about filing for your claims. You can go on the Connecticut unemployment website and it's very user friendly. You can file your claims and you need to keep up with it weekly to make sure you get your compensation. Because if you don't go on that week, you won't get paid that week. You won't. Correct. Exact, that's exactly right, Ann. Okay, well, thank you so much for the information. Thank you. For Always good me. to see you. We'll Same see you here. again next Monday okay. as well. If you'd like to see more of this interview with Tara, you can find it there on our website. And we also have a segment on our website that'll help you file for unemployment. You can find the link there at WTNH.com.